Mark the calendars. Mark the dates. December 16th, 2022. A piece of my inner child has passed away. It is sad. It is hard. And I don't know how to talk about it. You know, in in nerd culture, there are three things that are always truths. Uh, Uncle Ben will always be dead. Conventions always reek. And Ash Ketchum will always be at the center of the Pokemon anime, trying to be the very best like no one ever was. Well, something happened recently in the Pokemon anime. He became the very best like no one ever was. He beat Leon, the world champion uh, of Sword and Shield. He was the league champion, and you beat him in Sword and Shield. Ash just beat him in the anime and became the number one trainer in the entire world. And people were reporting on it like it was major news. Like ESPN wrote an article about it, I think. Like people were writing about it like it was an actual athletic feat that Ash Ketchum became the champion almost it's insane it's weird but after 25 years of the anime of him trying to become the very best he finally is the very best this kind of has led a lot of uh people thinking what's next for the anime what's going to happen you can't really follow someone whose mission has become the very best when he is the very best uh everyone just kind of assumed he would stick around because he always sticks around he's ash he's always there ash and pikachu That's the main squeeze. That's the main thing. Well, today Pokemon has announced that they are leaving Ash Ketchum behind and he will be gone in the anime. They they tweeted out uh, major anime news. I was looking at replies and I I definitely wasn't prepared for this today. The big future of Pokemon is, is, is their thing. Honoring Ash for 25 years of service in the anime. Showing off many different hype moments from the anime. Their most recent win. It looks like Ash will be going back, seeing all his old friends from the anime, using his old Pokemon as well. Very exciting. So they're doing like an 11 episode epilogue in Japan. I hope it, it'll probably get ported to America as well, uh, where it will be all about Ash and Pikachu after they've become champions, after they've won. And it's going to be very touching and very grueling. I'm probably going to cry like a baby. I'm crying even talking about this because I've had Ash the entire time of my life. And after they do this little announcement, they announce the future of the anime. Shiny Rayquaza. But they show off the new main characters of the Pokemon anime, uh, Lika and Roy are their current names. And I I actually really love their designs. I I love uh, that it's focusing on the three new starters, Sprigatito, uh, Fuecoco, and Quaxley. I'm covering Fuecoco. I'm sorry, I'll move away. But actually, if you look at uh, Lika's hair, she actually has the League Expo emblem on her hair, just like Ash had on his hat. So she's clearly like the main focus of the anime. Uh, which I'm, I'm excited to see. I'm excited to watch. I'm a little jealous that they get to explore Paldea not wearing a school uniform, but I'm sure they'll explain in the anime. Maybe they get expelled and they have to prove to Professor Cladvel that, you know, they, they deserve to, like, be in school. I don't, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but let, let's uh, finish the little announcement video. That was it. Oh, I, that, I, I have egg on my face. <laughs> that was just it. I could have just let the video play out. I'm an idiot. Okay, cool. Uh, it, it This is huge news. This is gigantic news. For a lot of time, uh, the animes felt kind of stunlocked in what to do because it's just the same thing over and over again. Work Ash working his way up to the championship battle, failing, not learning from his mistakes of the p- previous seasons, and starting off as a fresh new character, but he's not a fresh new character, and he references the past a lot, but he doesn't learn from the past, and it's insane. And in Pokemon Journeys, and across its all ser- stories, like Master Journeys and whatever, Ash has been learning from his mistakes. Ash has been growing as a trainer. Ash put together a team that's 
freaking insane. And like a, a, a personal favorite of mine. He has Gengar, Dragonite, Dracovish, uh, Lucario. It's an awesome team. It's so much fun. It was great to watch him grow and explore in this uh, in this series, but he's done growing. We need to move on as fans, as people. He, he his story is done, and 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 knowing that and hearing that, it it it, it kind of hurts. It 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 uh <laughs> it it hits the heart. You know what I mean? That <laughs> Ash is gone. The voice actors of Ash actually put out a nice little tweet. It's been an extraordinary privilege to have been the English voice of Ash Ketchum for what will be 17 years. No matter what lies beyond his final chapter, he'll live forever in the hearts of for many generations to come. I'll keep him present for all of us in every way that I can. And that's just a lovely message. Ash Ketchum is an annoying character for a lot of people, but he's one, he's that annoying character where you love him no matter what because you traveled with him. You enjoyed the world of Pokemon through his eyes with him, even if he was stupid, even if he used Pikachu against Onyx nine million times, even if he ignored type advantages, even if he MacGuffined his way to victory nine times out of ten. You love Ash. You love him when he lost. You love him when he won. And you're going to miss him when he's gone. God. Yeah. I, I'm, like, choked up. I, I, I really am. I really love Pokemon, and it's sad to see Ash Ketchum and Pikachu kind of go away from the anime. Well, guys, go on and be the very best like no one ever was. To catch them is the real test, and to train them is your cause. I'm Scootish, and I'm signing off.